Hello, this is Arash Vasugi with Voss Coaching Co. I have got a very important lesson today that I wanted to share with everybody. Uh, it's a lesson that really had a significant impact on my life. Anybody who's ever heard me train or been trained by me, uh, heard me speak, I speak about one idea changing my life. It first started with attitude, that was a, a one, uh, one of the biggest ideas. And then before that, another one was finding the right mentor. You know, somebody who could really get me moving and follow the right direction, that was another idea. Well, throughout my transformation from being 150,000 in debt, starting over a few weeks before my wedding, um, to creating millions. And really, it, along the way, there were so many big ideas, but this idea has really made such a deep impact, uh, not just for my life, uh, but for a lot of my clients that I've taught them this, which is not just standard, personal standard. Our personal standard is our DNA to success. Now, I want you to think about you right now, and I want you to think about your results. I want you to think about your income. Now, you have that on the screen of your mind. That's your standard right now. I want you to think about your business, or if you're in a job, that's your standard. I want you to think about your health. That's your standard. I want you to think about your associations. What do you talk about? That's your standard. See, standard impacts everything in our life. And I want to take a deep dive with you and really show you how just changing your personal standard will change everything in your life. Everybody has a personal standard, but a lot of people don't get to it unless they're pissed off enough or get offended enough by somebody to use it. That's not the healthiest way. We want to use it at any time. I really want to make this part of your huge power because it's a huge power we have access to. Now, most people have their personal standard. They use it when they're in a crisis, when they're in adversity. And adversity, as we know, is temporary. But I want you to use it and become a conscious competent. A conscious competent is when you know how to access it at any moment. So what is personal standard? That is where you draw a line in the sand and you say, I'm not accepting anything under my standard. My standard is here. I'm not accepting anything here. It's either where my standard is or higher. I really want you to keep increasing it every day. Keep raising that standard 1% every day and it's gonna have a significant impact on your life. I remember before I even understood what personal standard was, uh, my wife and I bought a couch and we bought it from the store Z Gallery. It was a great couch, it looked like a great couch. They came in and delivered it. The delivery people left and I told my wife, I go, this is an ugly couch. I just do not like it. It did not fit our family room the way it was. Well, we called the, the store and they said, once they drop it off, you have to keep it. And my wife's like, we'll just deal with it. And I, I'll never forget it. That's when I discovered consciously standard because I said, every time we're gonna walk by, we're gonna know we don't like it. And that's not gonna make us feel good. And she said, well, let's just sell it. I said, forget about selling it. Let's just give it away. Let's give it to somebody who would fall in love with this, who would love this couch, it's brand new. And we gave it away, but at that moment, I anchored that feeling of what my standard was and what our standard was. And it wasn't from a point of arrogance, it was a point of I didn't want to keep seeing it over and over again. And I do that for vacations, I do it for the homes we buy or that we bought that we're in now. I do it for this office, I wanted to really match my standard of how I wanted to live. And you want to start thinking of how do you want to live? And this takes over another, another part of this, which is personal philosophy. Do you know your personal philosophy? Do you know your standard? Eventually, I want you to make sure your standard matches your personal philosophy. As you develop your personal philosophy of how do I really wanna live, your thinking is gonna match that. Now, to be rewarded in an elite level, there's a price you have to pay, and that price is gonna be outside your comfort zone, and that's how the standard keeps growing and raising and raising. You know, at the end of the years, I always tell my clients, I said, there's two things that I want you to focus on. 
Just two. I want you to raise your standard every day for the month of December, and I want you to create one empowering belief. Now those two things are so simple. Oh, there's only two things for me to do? Well, just remember, less is more. But if you raise your standard for the next 30 days, every day by just 1%, and create one identity-based empowering behavior, you're gonna transform your life. So how do we build our standard? We have to be intentional. We have to be very intentional about it and put a lot of attention that I'm building a bigger idea of myself. And it's not from a point of arrogance. I wanna make sure you're clear about this. I've had people ask me, well, is that an arrogant thing to do? No, it's an empowering movement. When you're raising your standard and you're doing it for you, you're not doing it for anybody else. And what ends up happening as you raise your standard, your income will raise. As you raise your standard, your environment will raise. As you raise your standard, the types of things are gonna match that standard. And the types of ideas that you're gonna build in your consciousness are gonna come match your standard. And how do you do it? You build that bigger idea. And remember this, the world rewards the conditioned person. What is the conditioned person? The conditioned person is the person who works on raising their standard every day. And I want you to think about an event that really had such a deep impact on your life that you, in such a positive way, that you said, you know what, I'm so sick and tired of being sick and tired. This is what I'm doing from this point on. Well, what you were doing before you could even move, you raised your standard. You made a decision. You said, I'm operating from a significant standard and then you were rewarded. And that's exactly what happened. Now, how do you do it? You have to have extreme ownership and you have to have discipline. If you don't discipline your thinking, the outside world is gonna discipline it, I promise you. I am personally, and you are personally, responsible for absolutely everything happening in your life. People will say, oh, come on, you don't, you don't know what's happening to me. That person did this, or this situation happened. It's never the person or the situation, it's how did we think about that. That goes into our standard. Standard is how you think. And when you step out and really go into this uncomfortable zone where you step out of your comfort zone, guess what you're doing? You're raising that standard. I want you to understand standard is part of your image. Our image is the foundation of success. Our image is the foundation of what a paradigm is. And a paradigm is the primary cause of our results. And if you're sitting in there thinking, you know, I've done it in certain occasions, I want you to do it every day. I want you never to let anybody rob your standard. Now, a lot of people say, well, I have a standard towards this, I have a standard towards that, I have a standard towards my business, but I don't really care about other stuff. I promise you, at some level, you care. You get to choose your standard. I'm not here to choose it for you, but I will tell you, study the most successful people, and I guarantee you're gonna find their standard. If you watch a football team or a baseball team, they say, our standard of our team is this. This is our standard. Or if you look at Voss Coaching Co., my standard for my coaches is through the roof. I want to have them to be the most well-conditioned coaches so they can help all of our clients. I keep improving my standard so I can teach better. I always think there's a better way that I can help people, and that's standard. My standard is a husband. My standard is a father. My standard is a brother. We have a standard towards everything. And as you develop it, you are changing your identity. And our identity is the foundation. It's an inside job. Play with this idea. Implement this idea. Change this. Watch how many people are going to gravitate towards you. Because what you're doing is you're changing your confidence. And what happens is you're, you're really operating the essence of who you are. Your soul wants you to do more. There's so much more. There's, there's another person inside of you that knows how to do a 25 times more effective than where we are right now, where I am. And how do we do it? We, we let that person out. How do we let it out? We raise our standard every day. Challenge for you. Two things, next 30 days, Number one, raise your standard by 1% every day. Number two, pick one empowering belief. What is that belief? That could be, I'm gonna sell every day. I am developing discipline. I am leaving somebody better off every single day. They, they will bring me nothing in return. Watch what'll happen. Raise your standard. Our standard is our DNA to success. You have so much potential inside of you. Allow it to come out. Your personal standard is a game changer.
Thank you.